Um, 2016 is a memorable year for language lovers, in particular English language lovers. Mm -hmm. This year marks the, uh, the 400th anniversary of the death of a great poet, dramatist, an actor, a literary genius, mm -hmm. the sweet swan of Avon, William Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. We all love, maybe love and respect William Shakespeare because of his great words, such as the four great tragedies, Hamlet, Othello, King Lear, and Macbeth. But do you know, did you know that he is also a great inventor of English words and phrases? As for the English words, I actually researched into them for today, and I found a lot more words than I had expected that were coined by Shakespeare. One example is gloomy. The verb gloom had been used long before, but it was changed into an adjective, gloomy, uh, as in gloomy words. Now gloomy is commonly used like the sky is dark and gloomy. Mm -hmm. Another example is lonely. Mm -hmm. The word alone was first changed into lone, and then Shakespeare converted it into lonely, as in I go alone like a lonely dragon. Now, lone and lonely have different meanings, and a lone dragon and a lonely dragon sound very different, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, there are a lot more examples uh, of the words invented by Shakespeare, uh, such as addiction, majestic, mm -hmm. ladybird, oh. undress, half-blooded, hot-blooded, mm -hmm. the cold-blooded. As you just heard, they are not completely the very uh, new words, but uh, compound words or inflections changing a part of speech, like lone into lonely, or adding a suffix like dress into undress. Maybe Shakespeare have not, uh, might not have been the first person to use these words, but um, he is sure to be the first one to introduce the words to the audience. So reading Shakespeare is like um, uncovering the history of words. As for English phrases, as we are all language lovers, we should know many of them, right? Like, what's in the name from Romeo and Juliet, or et tu brut from Julius Caesar, or the most famous one is to be or not to be, that is the question from Hamlet. The tragedies like Hamlet are the source of famous quotes, but in order to read tragedies, we need guts and determination. Mm -hmm. So today, I'm introducing you to an easier one, a comedy uh, called As You Like It, oh. which was written before Hamlet was. Mm -hmm. So I'll briefly introduce the story, but it's complicated. Mm -hmm. The heroine of this story, Rosalind, was banished from court and she and her friends decided to escape to the forest. For their safety, Rosalind was dressed as a man. And in the forest, Rosalind uh, saw Orlando. Actually, Orlando and Rosalind had once met before and had fallen in love with each mm -hmm. other. But again, Rosalind was dressed, in man, dressed as a man, so Orlando did not recognize her. Mm -hmm. And uh, he told her, how much he was in love with Rosalind <laughs> without recognizing. Mm -hmm. And Rosalind uh, offered to him that she could pretend to be Rosalind to cure his lovesickness for Rosalind. <laughs> it's very complicated. <laughs> um, Shakespeare often referred to our life as a stage, and there's a famous quote in this story. All the world's a stage, mm. men and women merely players. The highlight of this story is that people, women and maybe men, are playing a part in a play. That uh, makes uh, this a very fun comedy. Mm. Okay, um, and now, did you notice that I'm also acting right now? I'm <laughs> trying to speak British English. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I 
was able to do it successfully or not successfully. <laughs> but this year, you can start acting and reading Shakespeare.